Welcome back. A lot going on in the atmosphere this week. That includes the trifecta of moon viewing. Junior journalist Kinsley Johnson checked in with some local scientists to explain. According to the National Aeronautics and Space Association, also known as NASA, we will see a super full blue moon this week. A full moon happens once a month, but why is this one a super blue moon? To figure it out, we talked to a local expert on lunar activity. Dr. Matt Marone teaches physics at Mercer University. First, why is this moon called a blue moon? And so when you have two full moons in a month, then that's considered a blue moon. This one is a super and blue because it will be at the closest point in the moon's orbit called the perigee. At some time of the year, the moon's a little closer to the Earth, and at other times of the year, it's a little further away from the Earth. And we call those perigee and apogee. So at a perigee moon, the moon is closer to the Earth than it would be on average, and at an apogee moon, it's a little bit further away than it would be on average. But wait, we are paying attention to the skies for another reason this week. Yeah, so we're tracking Hurricane Idalia, and it's probably going to bring some wind and rain to central Georgia, which is going to cause a lot of cloud cover and some effects there on Wednesday. Fortunately, the possibility of seeing it when it's at its fullest and brightest is not all that great. With Idalia moving away, there's still going to be clouds there on the backside of the storm. The chances of seeing a super blue moon this time around are pretty slim, but you can catch them again, two of them actually, in January or March of 2037. Reporting in Macon, I'm junior journalist Kinsley Johnson. How cool is that? Mm, super blue moon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but chances are not good that we'll be seeing it tomorrow.